everyone it's your boy adisha nataka hasaral and welcome to learn with adisha so today we are doing blender part 2 which is going to be helpful you can use blender 4.0 blender 3.5 you can use all of that but uh, usually the same concepts are there so i'll just open up blender 4.0 and you can see here the start screen so you can just come here Today we'll be doing a project. You can follow along with me. But we're now using a new mode. Press tab and you'll go into edit mode. This is the new mode that we are using today. We're going to be using four tools right next to each other. Extrude region, insert face, bevel and loop cut. Okay. Now, what does extrude region? Well, let's check. Press face. Oh, and I for and I nearly forgot to tell you. Click one of these three to select. Well, one thing. This is vertex mode, which you can only select vertexes. This is edge mode, where you can only select edges, and this is face mode, where you can select faces. Now extrude does this, it just does this. Either it can make something go downwards or it can make it go upwards. Do things like this. It can have things like this happen or you can undo it. You can't really undo it, but it just, uh, makes a new shell you can do this and then have it go downwards again so you can make something like this it's kind of like a totem pole and it's nice but we will just uh, delete everything yeah there now I'll press shift A and spawn in a brand new test subject, which is another cube. Okay, so now what does inset faces do? Inset faces makes uh, new faces. It's kind of obvious right there. Inset faces. So now when I extrude this, it doesn't extrude the it doesn't extrude the non-selected part. It makes new faces. See? So if I select this, I can make a brand new structure. I can do something like this with inset faces. See? Wow. That's not all though. We're gonna we're also gonna use something called bevel, which can do things like this, but I recommend you not to do that because it'll just stay glitched forever. But what you can do is you can do something like this. Bevel is kind of a softening tool. And you can see down here where my mouse is that there's a well section that gives you well things i guess you can say that now what does this segment do just add a lot of segments and it becomes incredibly dense on your computer trust me don't do this but if this ever happens just try to undo it trust me it will save your computer <clears throat> now i'll just add five segments now over here you can already see that it looks like a trapezoid and it's not that uh, well curvy you could say i guess but if i add five more segments boom 
it becomes curvy. And now you can do this. There's more segments now, so you can extrude more stuff. Oh, and I nearly forgot about loop cut. Loop cut gives us, well, a loop cut. It helps us to cut in a loop. Basically, you cut sections. And these form into new edges. Not new faces, but new edges. So it's kind of like inset faces, but a little less powerful. Now then, we're going into object mode and delete. <clears throat> now then, it's time to start with the project. And this project is a chair. Yes, it's a chair. So now what I want you to do, how do you get this down? Scale. Use scale. Now, since this side is up on the z-axis, we want to decrease the thickness. Because chairs aren't all that thick. Do you think this is good enough? You can increase or decrease the size if you want to. Okay, sure. This seems good enough. Now then, what do we do to make the handles or anything, basically? Just do something like this but i don't recommend randomly guessing i recommend using this zooming in and you can see these grid squares use those so we can align these two squares by two squares two by two try to make it like that and try to make it look nice. Because no one likes a bad chair. And look at that. We're all done with the sides. Good. Now if you want to add armrests. You can use the top edges of these two. These two. You can see that. Just use the top faces of those. And that will make armrests. Now what we want to do is we want to extrude these parts, okay? So you're going to press Z or minus Z if you want to. And we're going to select. Ah, forgot. You can press, oops, control Z. So you can just go into select, select one. Shift select, shift select, shift select. Don't let go of shift between the select. So just if you let go of shift between the select, so if you like shift select, then it'll not select both. But if it's like select one, hold shift, select, select, select. Now you can stop holding shift. Now what do we use from these four tools? What do we use? What do you want to use? If you chose extrude region, you're right. So let's make it about one and a half blocks big. And that looks like a coffee table. That's actually kind of nice. Now then, what do you want to do? Extrude, select, shift and select as well now press x and then extrude it as high as you want it to be now then we want some supports over here right right so we're gonna use loop cut now remember you don't have to waste your time getting loop cut over there as well
Use your time wisely when doing this. So how many gaps? So how many blocks of a gap is that? One, two, three, four blocks. Four blocks. One, two, three, four. We place it here. Then a two block gap. I guess that'll be enough. Now we're gonna go into extrude region, face mode, this, select, select, don't select, and extrude to your heart's consent. I mean, extrude till, till your heart's content. And now we've got a simple chair. But if you wanna add armrest, watch this. Select these two, go into the right POV, and boom, a simple chair with armrest. Thanks for watching, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. So, thanks for watching. So, don't forget to subscribe and like to this channel, and see you in the next video. Bye.